Hey everyone, it's Liz, and today I have a haul video for you guys. So, I recently bought some stuff from Lush, and I bought a lot. <laughs> I don't own that much stuff from Lush, I just have a couple things. I've used um, a, quite a few of their bath bombs and bubble bars and bath melts and all that, but I haven't used as much of their soaps and kind of skin and hair care, so I wanted to try out a couple new things. I actually ordered this stuff from the UK Lush store because when I worked it out it was cheaper to get all this stuff from there than it was from the US store. That's a good way to do it if you're willing to like put in like the time to figure out which one is cheaper and like go back and like convert the money back and forth again and again and again. It took some time but it was worth it. So I got a couple things last week and then I got the rest of them just today so I've tried out one thing and I haven't tried out anything else so the thing that I have tried out is the Aquamarina Face Cleanser. I got this. I really have been wanting a new face cleanser. Um, my skin is very sensitive and it's almost always very red, especially after I wash it and moisturize it. And so I wanted something that would kind of help calm down my skin and this is supposed to be really good at it. With aloe vera, sea salt, and mineral rich seaweed, this cleanser was created to cool and soothe the skin with ingredients sourced from the sea. It's basically pink with um, green seaweed in it. I don't love the smell. But it's not like an offensive smell, it just isn't like, wow, that smells amazing. It's just like a... Kind of just a smell. <laughs> the other um, skincare thing I got is this Celestial Facial Moisturizer. And like I said, I have dry, sensitive skin, and so I have yet to find a facial moisturizer that really works well for me. And so I wanted to try out one of Lush's, and they have tons, and this was the one that caught my eye. It's transport sensitive skin to a higher plane, specially formulated to create a light barrier on the skin to stop the loss of moisture and keep sensitive skin feeling calm. So that sounds right up my alley. <laughs> it kind of exactly what I wanted. And it smells like a delicious, like, vanilla yogurt. I really like it, but it also has like a little bit of spice to it. Well, I recently started dyeing my hair, so it's like a red color right now. It's kind of all in a mess on the back of my head. But since dyeing my hair, I've noticed my hair is a little bit more damaged, unfortunately, which isn't great. And also I've been blow drying it a lot more. I really wanted something that could treat my hair. And so I saw this. <sighs> I have no idea how to say it. I'm going to try. It looks like Husuan Wenhua. That's what it looks like. I really, I don't know. The hair, a mask to improve the condition, luster, and compatibility of hair. Um, basically putting the condition and shine back into the hair. So it's a hair mask. It's not a conditioner. This smells so nice. It's like a delicious, like, spicy. Like, it smells like you walked into a Yankee Candle store. So I cannot wait to put this on my hair. I think I might do that today. I think I'm going to have a little spa day tonight. <laughs> this is a bath bomb. This is the yoga bath bomb and this is one of the ones they only have in the UK. So that's another reason to order from the UK is they have some products that they don't carry in the US stores. This smells amazing. It smells so good. It's really glittery. <laughs> it's really glittery but yeah it's just this beautiful orange color. It's kind of like a spicy, citrusy smell. Then the other bath bomb I got is Intergalactic. And just look at how crazy this one is. It's awesome. So it's mainly blue, but you can see that it has lots of other colors on the inside. This one is so glittery. And this one, ooh. It smells kind of like... It's kind of minty. This one's supposed to make your bath look like insane, like a galaxy, which is why it's called Intergalactic. And that's another one of the ones that they only have um, in the UK store. So I also got one for my roommate and she's really excited. Uh, she loves Lush too. So she was helping me like pick out all the stuff that I should get and it was really fun. Then I got a bubble bar. This one's called Blue Skies and Fluffy White Clouds. Cinnamon and the patchouli is what I'm smelling. It smells really nice. I really like that smell. It's going to be really good for taking a nice relaxing bath. And with these, because you see how like big it is compared to my face, you can get like three to four baths out of this if you cut it up. Then the last two things I got are just soaps. I've never tried Lush soaps before. I really have never tried soaps other than like a bar of like Dial or Dove soap. And they have so many. I had no idea where to go, like which ones to choose, but I just picked out a couple. This one is called Serendipity. And it is a French lavender lullaby, is how it's described. It smells like lavender. It's amazing. I know when I'm having a stressful day, it's going to be amazing to come back to my dorm and be able to take a shower with this. So obviously this is like a really large chunk of, <laughs> chunk of soap. 
So I am actually cutting soaps up right now. I already cut up my other one. And so I'm going to slice this up into smaller pieces so it's more manageable and I don't use... Like, I don't waste any of it by just letting it sit there. Four slices of this one. This is a uh, Sultana of Soap, and it's described as royally well-fed skin. And so this one's supposed to be really, really hydrating. Mine actually is a little bit blue because of the intergalactic bath bombs that were in the box. Online, everyone said that it smelled amazing. I actually am not a huge fan of the smell. Like, I don't mind it.